If you haven't heard the name Courtney Rose, you're not alone. He's a 27-year-old struggling rapper who's adding a new title to his playlist. Candidate for mayor. What? What happened? You the mayor. Well... Thank you for joining us for another TV Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo. And I'm Aaron. And today we're going to talk about the new series, The Mayor, on ABC. Um, the way we're going to do it, if you haven't been watching, we're going to do pilot episodes. I've said it a few times before, but for those of you just joining, we're going to talk about our first impressions, our theories on the show, um, as far as the story arc, or if we think it's even going to stay on. Uh, and then we'll reconvene on the third episode to decide if we're going to commit or quit. And if we commit, then we'll actually talk, come back after the season has ended and discuss the entire season to give our review. So right now you guys are talking to us about The Mayor, it's pilot episode. Let me tell you guys what it's about, just in case you don't know. Um, a young man who's actually a local rapper who's been trying to make it comes up with a, a very, actually, pretty impressive scheme to join the mayor election. Um, not to make it, not to win, but to boost his, his notoriety, to get his face out there, his name out there. So he can get recognition and people start paying more attention to his music. But what he ends up making a mistake in doing is actually doing a great job and arguing with those who don't understand the, the city that they're, they're um, campaigning to, to lead. You know, he's speaking for the people and he's saying things uh, that need to be said. And he ends up getting the vote to become the mayor by accident. And this wasn't his intention, but it happens because he's speaking up for the people, not realizing that he was actually campaigning very well. And I thought that was actually uh, yeah. was, was pretty funny because it, it was all about just trying to get the notoriety and the recognition so people start buying his mixtape and get him, get him shows. And then he ends up becoming the mayor. Um, so that's pretty much your, your, your pilot episode. And then, of course, the season goes from him with his struggles, not knowing the system, knowing the system, you know, figuring out how to be a mayor and how to still be an artist. And we go from there, and it, it is comedic. Tell me, sir, uh, your first impression on the show. How'd you feel about it? Um, well, I'll, I'll, I actually really, I really enjoyed it. Um, I like, I like the thing I really enjoyed about the movie is like the characters itself. Like, first of all, the mom, she's just amazing mm -hmm. in all her scenes. She like, she's always, she she always seems to know um, what's going on before the characters do, and she's just trying to get them there. Right. Um, she's playing that guiding hand role. Um, I also liked um, his his friends. I thought when they came in, they'd be like those background characters who were just like they're kind of there, but they don't really do anything. But they That's generally true. they they kind of get their own arcs. Yeah. Um, they're not major arcs or anything, but they're enough that you kind of get to know their characters. And I like that. Um, in regards to the, um, the story itself, I think the, like, like it, it's kind of a classic, like, um, st story of, like, um, some, just coming into more responsibility than, than you're expecting. Mm -hmm. Like, like, I like, he, he, like, just one of the lines where he's just like, um, you, you have to do this for another four years. He's like, wait, this job's four years? <laughs> that actually made me laugh out loud. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like he, he, he's clearly in, kind of in and over his head, but the show, gives, sure. the show gives you that hope. You know, it's kind of, he's going to figure this out along the way, um, which isn't great for a mayor, but I think it'll be interesting for a show. I think, that, yeah, that's, that was kind of like, I'm not going to lie, that was the reason I wasn't really excited about watching it because I knew that he was going to get in over his head and this whole thing was going to be him bumbling through it and, and doing, you know, the... Just coming at everything from a a, a, a a lack of understanding of the, yeah. the process and the, the things you have to go through in the law, and I didn't think it would be as funny. So my first impression after watching was the pilot episode was actually good. I, I liked it. It made me laugh. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was, and it did get me. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, but honestly, I it wasn't phenomenal, yeah. and I know that the, normally the pilot after pilot episodes things kind of take a little dip. So for me, even though I was my first impression was good, I loved everything about it. I liked his way of getting noticed. I liked that he didn't know once he became the mayor, but I liked that he did have good intentions once he did have the responsibility. Yeah, you know, even though he didn't really handle it well. Yeah, you know, and like you said, the 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 other two characters, they you, they they came into their own. They were more they were more developed than I thought they would be. They yeah. were just like background dancers or yellers you know or, or comedians they actually have you know different parts and they, they were they were pretty effective and i could see it all working but um i'm not sure if uh if it impressed me enough to to keep going uh, you know yeah. i feel like it's gonna take a dip after that what are your thoughts on that um 
I like like I think that's going to be the main problem. It, 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 this show has a hurdle to um, to jump over where it can't fall into the trap of that repeated like learning thing right. that yeah, like sort of progression. they have that sh- they have those kinds of shows where like he's le- the character's learning the same lesson over and over again just with different stories so he they, 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 the same he can't just be learning oh that's not how politics work over and over again with every episode there right. should be different problems like i like i think like one thing that'd be interesting to show is like where the problem isn't that um that he doesn't know the system it's that he um does know the system and there's nothing he can do about it yeah that would be great to see like he could have a, a great answer, uh, yeah. a great plan for it, but just the way the legal system messed up, he just runs to a roadblock and just yeah, can't so do he, anything about it. That'd so, be great. So it has to be his urban roots that kind of save him, like like yeah. where he like like knowing the people and just like just his background is what gives him an idea. Yeah. So I think that I think so as long as it doesn't fall into that trap of the repeated storyline closure, I think it should be fine. All right. Well, then um, you know, tell me your. Your theory on the overall story arc, if the show if the show continues, um, what do you think you see anything of where it's going um, as far as his mayorship? What do you call it? Um, well, I feel like um, in the episode in the pilot episode, they kind of um, he just he he. He he didn't decide to become mayor, but he never really decided like he's not going to be a rapper. So I feel like in the later arcs, they're going to go into that more, like like where he's decide where it's either he's going to become like he's not he's going to either have to choose one more mm-hmm. because he's still rapping as a mayor, but True. like it like it may, being a mayor is a, full, a pretty much a full time job, so right. it's kind of hard to balance that with also trying to be a rapper and stuff. So I, it's going to be interesting to see how they balance that because well, yeah. as the episode ended. Yeah. When they were after they he, you know, redid the park on his own because he, he botched that. Yeah. Uh, as they were walking away, he actually literally said the words, "Music can wait." So I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. Yeah, because I mean, like, like, I, like, I, it, 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 the rapping, I like that aspect of it that he's a rapper because I feel like it, it adds more elements for story like sure. of just being able to build on the fact that like he has a dream of wanting to like perform in front of people and he's also his ambition to help people yes and I, so i wanted to see those clash a little bit more than they did in the pilot episode now, and if they and if they end up not doing that throughout the series i think they'll be wasting potential story arcs uh, um, true um as far as the story arcs from for me i i I'm, I'm right there with you um i think it's gonna just be more of um but i think it's gonna be more of how does he incorporate music more Instead of trying to figure out how to do both, I think it's going to be about how can I make my music help me in this mayorship, and how can my mayorship help this music to try and yeah. fuse them. You know, I feel like, I feel like I feel like that that's what's going to go, and that's not as appealing to me. I hate to say, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you know, I mean, we still got to give it to the third episode. I haven't watched the second one yet. You said you did, well, you know, but when we talk, when we reconvene on the third episode. I may have a different opinion, but right now, yeah, you know, I know one of the story arcs is going to happen if it gets enough seasons is a re-election arc. I mean, like, mm-hmm. like it ha- that has to happen with any political show where it, it gets. To. So he has four years. So if, so if every season is treated like a year in the sh- series, depending on how they base it, right. then at the end of four seasons, they have to have that re-election season. Yeah, if they get that far. So that that brings up the the next question: um, Is this show going to survive a season? Do you think it's going to get? A, you think it's going to make it? Um. I don't know, like, like, um, it, like it, it's it's one of those, it's, like I said, it's one of those classics. Like, man comes from an urban environment, ends up um, pit against like stuffy white people, and uh, proves that he, that even despite his environment, he can do their job, his job better than them. Uh, but it, 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 that, those used to be like really good, like you, those used to go on forever. But um, you know, Netflix just can't cancel the Get Down. What's they never cancel series, um, it's, True. so it's it's proof that the that that at, those kinds of shows don't have the lifespan they used to. True. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, for me, I I hate to be that guy, but I don't I don't think it's gonna make it through the season. Um, I think, I mean, if it if it if it's pre, how say it like this. If we do get a full season, I don't think it's going to be renewed. I think the only reason we'll get a full season is maybe because they filmed it already. Yeah. But I think mid-season we're going to find out that this show was a good idea and it's not coming back. Now, if it ends up moving to another network, like if it becomes a Hulu exclusive or Amazon exclusive or a Netflix exclusive, then it may they may be able to do more with it because they won't have the restriction of the networks and they can make it, you know take yeah. that comedy there but as far as a network show maintaining i don't 
I don't know if it'll. I don't think it'll make it. I mean, it just depends on the following. It like and like like it, the the thing is, any show can make it as long as they get a decent yeah, following. If they get the following, I just you know. But sometimes shows, even when they're deserving, don't get it. You know, you heard Ron talk about the other day. There's a show that he loved, Powerless. Yeah. Um, and then it got canceled. You know, so sometimes there. And for me, there was a show probably way before your time called Journeyman that I thought was a great time traveling show. I thought it was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And that got canceled, and I was like, "Why? Why?" <laughs> but so yeah. he, he, we'll see. I, I think like if it, if this show does succeed, I'll think it's because people can relate to it. Not the fact that like, not the arc of him becoming mayor, but the fact that like going go, growing up in an environment with nothing and just striving to become something is gonna. Mm-hmm. So if, if, if people it watch might, every day, it's because it's kind of like wants them. It makes them want to succeed. I'm actually anxious to, to get to episode three and revisit this. I, yeah. I I honestly hope I'm wrong because. I like what I got in the pilot episode, but I just don't have faith that they, they can hold a whole hold me for a whole season. Yeah, the concept's good. I like it. Cool. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining us. That was the mayor, the pilot episode. We're going to reconvene on episode three to decide if we're going to commit or quit. Thank you for joining us for another TV Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo. And I'm Aaron. And we'll see you on the next one. Mom, we got to get you some sleep. It might be your last chance for the next four years. Wait, this job is four years? Someone is planning their first 100 days. That's how I roll. Let me see. Okay. That's actually really impressive. I'm really glad you said that. It looks like four grays and some pretty good hands.